Hello everybody, it's Fel Martinez back with another video, and welcome to the very first episode of Top 10. So this is a video series that I want to try on my channel of the top 10 like funniest things in movies, top 10 saddest things in movies, or top 10 scariest places in the world or something like that. Just top 10 something of a series. So I did a video of one of the top 5 biggest pet peeves I've ever had, and I really enjoyed that video of talking of what the biggest pet peeves I had, and I'm pretty sure you guys related to the same thing as well. So, for today's top 10 series, this is top 10 of more of my biggest pet peeves ever. Tell me why ain't nothing but a One word or texters. This one drives me nuts, and I do not like when people do this at all. So you know when you like watch TV or something, and you're just sitting talking with a friend on text, and you like tell them some big news like, Hey, I just graduated high school and now I'm off to college. This is the best day of my life. I'm so excited. But then they just come up with the one word. And that word can be anything. Cool. Awesome. Nice. That's it. J just those one words. I mean, I, I just feel like that's kind of like disrespectful because I feel like when you like text some like something good news, they shouldn't just come up with one word. They should be like, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. You did it. Congratulations. <laughs> Keep up the good work. So yeah, that just drives me crazy. <laughs> I want it that way. And this is related to another text one I hate. So this one is people who don't respond to text messages on time. Uh, okay, I get when you're like busy or something, but this one also just drives me crazy when people do this. Um, say you're texting them if you want to hang out, but then they don't respond, and then you keep waiting and waiting and waiting for them to respond until the next morning like at 10 o'clock or 12 p.m. in the afternoon the next day they like say yeah of course I would love to hang out with you like it took you that long to say that I mean like were you like asleep or something and like I understand people are busy we're all busy school everything work but if you are gonna do that just say I'm sorry I didn't text you back right away I'm busy that's okay because I understand that they were busy but if they respond to you the next day and they don't like apologize for texting you late then that really drives me crazy and I bet a lot of people have this too my dad has this I have it I think everybody has it <laughs> I want it that way. people getting angry for following the rules I hate this so this was at my school actually because people do this a lot and it drives me crazy. If you're like on your phone, like playing a game during class and all of a sudden the teacher comes up to you and says, put your phone away, this is class time. I mean, that's okay because it's class time, you shouldn't be on your phone while working. Then the kids just get mad and give like an attitude. You're not my mother, you you can't tell me what to do. I can be on my phone if I want to, okay? Yeah, th just those kids that give attitude just for just for like an adult to follow the rules I mean that just drives me crazy I mean I think I've said that a lot of times and the other two but this one just makes me it makes me mad actually because that's just disrespectful all the way I mean my mom's a first grade teacher and if kids did that to her she would be mad <laughs> she would be very mad at them she she would not take that from any kid at her first grade class at all. I mean, they don't have phones, but still, sh they should just be respectful and listen. Yeah. I want it that way. Is when people walk very close to you, like at, at a line or like a convention, and they just walk the slowest they can ever be. <laughs> I hate this so much. I mean, they just walk the slowest when you can ever do. And you're like, oh my gosh, just hurry up! And then when they stop, then you bump into them and they blame you. Hey, watch it! And you're like, what did I do? You're the one walking slow and stopped and not have a warning. 
I mean, at least give me like a warning next time you're gonna stop, okay? Don't blame me for what you did. So yeah, that that one also just is one of the biggest pet peeves I ever had. <laughs> I want it that way. People who interrupt you when you are talking. This one you might be related with. <laughs> so imagine you're talking like to a friend and then they do this. Okay, so remember when I asked this girl out and she was like, Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Uh, so what girl is it again? Judy? Oh, okay. Okay, so you- Ah, yeah, 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 I'm just gonna stop you right there again. <sighs> yeah, relatable, isn't it? Once again, this is my dad's pet peeve, too. He just doesn't like to interrupt him while he's talking to them. I want it that way. YouTube ads. This one I hate because... Okay, you know when you're like watching your favorite YouTuber, any kind of YouTuber you like, <laughs> but uh, you watch them, and when you click on the video, before their video, they show an ad, like a car thing, or a restaurant, or something like that. I mean, am I here to watch an ad, or my video I want to watch? Like, don't, you can't interrupt that, you can't do that to people. I mean, if you're gonna do an ad, just put it like on the bottom, right by the the YouTube video you're watching. I mean, that's okay, I'm okay with that. But when they do an extreme video before the video plays, that just drives me crazy. And I bet most of you, when you clicked on this, probably got an ad right now. Or maybe not. <laughs> I want it that way. People who take things too seriously. Okay, see if you think this is familiar. Say you're like making a joke to a friend and you like don't mean it, but you like you like take it very offensive. For example, hey buddy, hey your feet are getting pretty big today. <laughs> what, what, what does that mean? What? what? Are you saying I have big feet? Huh? Is that what you're saying to me? Huh? How about you insult me some more? Huh? How about you come at me? Huh? Come at me! Whoa, whoa, easy, buddy. I, it was just a joke. I was. I thought I would make you laugh. Well, that wasn't funny, and I think you're the rudest person I've ever met. I'm out of here. Okay, maybe they don't take it that seriously, but you know what I mean. K people who just take things too seriously. I mean, just take a joke. I mean, I don't mean it as an insulting way. I mean, you know, I still love you. <laughs> People who talk way too much in movies. Now this used to me be me, and when I did this, people got very mad at me for doing this. <laughs> so I don't do it anymore. But like, people who just talk too much in movies, like you're watching a movie with someone and they like... Sometimes they spoil it for you and that's not fun at all. Oh my gosh, the killer is right there! The killer is right there and he's gonna jump out and kill her! Shh. Okay, just letting you know at the end of the movie, she does not make it. Come on, what the heck? Now you just ruined the whole movie. What? Come on. Yeah. So basically spoilers, mostly more than talking. <laughs> so yeah, I bet this one drives you crazy as well. I want it that way. When there's too much grease in your food. That's just so gross to me. Like, that just makes me lose my appetite, like, right there right there. I mean, I when I like to eat food, I don't like it to taste wet. Like, just wetness and then there's grease coming down your face and all of that. I mean, some people might like it, but for me, that one is just a skip. Like, don't eat wet food or too oily that drips down your plate and then you just lose your appetite like that. People who slurp their drink. <laughs> now, I don't know how to explain this. I mean, I don't know if this drives people crazy too, but I just think that's just cringy to see when people just slurp their drink. I mean, coffee or like cold drinks, like... People who just do that. I mean, to me, I just think that's disgusting. And you know what else is drives me crazy? When people slurp when they eat cereal. I mean, <coughs> I, that just... I love cereal, but when people just slurp it like... <coughs> I mean, 
come on. I mean, that just- when I'm eating cereal, don't do that in front of me. That- that is just gross and disgusting. I mean, you can do it alone, like in the privacy of your own house, but when you're in front of people, just don't. That, that's just gross and it makes me want to throw up. I don't know why, but it just does. Well, there you go, guys. That was more of the top 10 biggest pet peeves I've ever had. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel right down below and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. And please comment down below, what is your biggest pet peeve ever? It could be anything and I can't wait to see it. Alright, you guys, I'm gonna go. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.